welcome biologists. This session where we're going to take a look at what diabetes is and how it can be controlled. So diabetes mellitus, this is where your body can no longer control the blood glucose concentration. And this could lead to too much sugar in the blood, which is hyperglycemia, or it could lead to too little in the blood, which is hypoglycemia. Now in an exam, I have seen questions asking you what this could be linked into in terms of symptoms. And diabetes can actually impact upon the blood pressure because it affects osmosis. So it can lead to having a high blood pressure or a low blood pressure. And because it can impact upon blood pressure, it can impact upon things as well, such as things like dizziness and fainting. And in severe cases, it can, it can affect things like um, organ failure because it can impact upon your eyes and also on your kidneys as well, which are very sensitive to high blood pressures. So there are two types of diabetes that we need to know about. We've got type 1 and type 2. Type 1 is the early onset, which you usually get from birth and is usually hereditary. And type 2 is late onset, which you normally get later on in life. And we're going to look at how and why you get these. So type 1 starts in childhood. This is um, also known as insulin-dependent diabetes. So anything underlined here in bold is taken directly from the, di from the mark scheme. You don't produce insulin anymore. So this means that your beta cells within the islets of Langerhans are no longer functioning correctly. So therefore your body cannot store excess glucose. Um, it is thought that this is due to an autoimmune disease where your body has attacked the beta producing cells um, as a result of having that genetic disorder normally passed on from um, one or both of your parents. It's thought to be genetic, but it could be triggered by a virus or env environmental factor as well. Type 2, this is normally starts in later life due to obesity or aging. It's non-insulin dependent. Your body doesn't function properly towards the insulin. So you still make the insulin, but your body doesn't respond to it. Uh, and this is usually because of the receptor that detects the insulin ha has been um, affected so that it doesn't work properly anymore. So it's no longer complementary and specific to insulin anymore. Factors that can bring this on could be obesity, uh, overeating of sugar, physical inactivity, high blood pressure, being of Asian or Afro-Caribbean descent, family history, um, being older, it increases more in males and also excessive alcohol intake. So those bits there in bold are taken directly from the MART scheme. So that's what we need to know about type 1 and type 2. In terms of treatments, because type 1 you don't produce insulin anymore, that can be rectified by taking insulin normally after you've eaten. Um, we also have things like exercise and controlling your diet as well because exercise uses glucose in aerobic respiration. So that's a good way to control your blood sugar if it gets too high. But also you can limit the volume of glucose and carbohydrate based um, products that you intake, it's mainly glucose that you need to monitor here within your diet. You can't say ha have a balanced diet because they don't like that in an exam. You have to talk about there being less glucose within the diet. So that's everything you need to know there about diabetes and the treatments of diabetes. Good luck with your exams and all the best.